a simple man who is neither a prophet nor an angel claims to have seen something very miraculous in a graveyard of Damascus what is the miracle this man has claims to see is it an angel or a supernatural being keep watching the video to find out the answers to these questions but before going any further take a look at this if you are feeling drowned in the sea of actions when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside then it is a return back call from your creator if you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your iman then our best selling book 100 heart touching stories to revive your iman and faith must be your most preferable selection to read right now the link is in the description box below the story displays to us the importance of sacred knowledge in one's life in an entirely beautiful manner the story also gives us a fair lesson of helping others and especially our near and dear ones but the real thing that shocks us all is the reward from allah for seeking knowledge how a strong and unbelievable incident had made a man give up his whole life and identity and go in the pursuit of holy knowledge you might not believe the story but when you will get to know that this story has been narrated by a very famous arab scholar you will be getting goosebumps only moreover the story is narrated by a famous arab scholar who has spent his whole life gaining sacred knowledge and is spending the rest of his life transferring his knowledge to the next generation his whole lineage goes back to the scholars of the damascus he begins by saying that we have a very well known graveyard in damascus many awliya scholars and fighters and marchers in the path of allah are buried in this very graveyard everyone who knows damascus knows this cemetery there was a man who would dig graves and place bodies in the graves in this graveyard one day a woman came to this man and asked him to prepare a grave for her he dug the grave and after a while the corpse arrived There were not a lot of men accompanying the janaza. The corpse was placed on the ground and the coffin was opened. The body was passed down to the grave digger who was in the grave. At this moment, the grave opened and became a garden of the gardens of paradise. The narrator claims that this is not a made-up story. It is a true event. He continues the story saying that the grave digger fainted when he saw two men on horses come and take the corpse away he was the only one who saw that those who were around the grave sprinkled water on him and lifted him out of the grave the woman who requested the grave had already left the grave digger told the other people by allah i saw a strange thing i saw such and such a thing people around him started saying that he was mistaken and he had imagined it and left him Some months passed by the same woman came to the grave digger and requested him to dig another grave for him which he did at once the corpse was brought handed over to the grave digger and when he placed the corpse the grave again expanded and became one of the gardens of paradise two men came again and took the grave with them but this time the grave digger did not faint he got up and caught up to the woman he asked her come here Who are you? Where are you from? She replied, "Leave me to my grievance." The grave digger asked about her grievance. She answered, "This is my son who had died, and a few months ago, it was my other son who died." He said, "You are the mother of these two?" She replied, "Yes," and asked why the grave digger was asking him these questions. The grave digger replied, "By Allah, I saw amazing things." When I was going to bury your first son into his grave the grave opened and became one of the gardens of paradise and two men came and took your son away the same thing happened to me with your second son he then asked the woman what did your sons do to deserve this why did allah treat them in such a manner she replied for the first one he was a seeker of sacred knowledge and my other son was a carpenter and used to pay for his brother's pursuit of sacred knowledge so allah rewarded both the seeker of sacred knowledge and the one who financially helped him in this wondrous manner the grave digger after hearing this answer went straight to the jamia toba 
The scholar says that his father, grandfather, and then his father had been living here in this very masjid. The day he came to the masjid to seek forgiveness and then knowledge, my great grandfather was living here. His name was Sheikh Saeed Burhani. The grave digger came to him and said, I want to start studying sacred knowledge. The Sheikh said, You are now 40, 50 years old. All your life has gone. Now is the time you want to learn sacred knowledge? The grave digger replied, I want to start my study of sacred knowledge as soon as possible at all costs because so and so has happened to me. The Shaykh replied, That's it. Put your trust in Allah and start today. He brought a book of Arabic grammar that day and started his study every day. He would learn everything by heart every day till one day he was included in the list of the most renowned scholars of the world. His name was Sheikh Abdurrahman Haffar and his whole family became the one who seeks knowledge of the religion, the holy book and the tafsir. The last one from his family was Sheikh Abdul Razak Haffar who again was one of the finest scholars of Damascus. This beautiful, heart-touching story tells us how Allah treats his students, his knowledge seekers, those who spend their time and energies learning what Allah has sent for mankind. Subhanallah. Allah surely treats them well. This story is nothing less than an inspiration for all of us brothers and sisters. There is no limit to age, race or blood when it comes to seeking the sacred knowledge. While the other studies, the worldly kind of knowledge is also appreciated in Islam. There is no substitute for the knowledge of the Almighty, His book, His Prophet's words and a hadith. May Allah grant us the tawfiq to seek His knowledge along with what we are learning for earning bread and survival in the world. Ameen. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of actions when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of actions when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below.